hello hello guys what do you call this in your country we call this plum in cameroon guys this is a delicious fruit and to be honest i did not even know where to class classify this i had to check from google so i don't come and say what i don't know and google told me this is a fruit so this is a delicious fruit we call plum in cameroon and what is called plum in germany or in western world doesn't look like this but it's a fruit which is delicious which is healthy try my plum no butter so mm. i don't want this plum to get finished i the pink charm as in mm. oh my god you want to try butter plum oh butter plum mama Look at that. Healthy fats. Guys, you can get yours from the Afro shop. Okay? You want to go burning corn, burning plantain. I'm not finished. Um, I last one is. And I know it's more picking the pink something. No, me not finish. I'm sorry, the three D plum now. So because if you finish, well, my langa will see good for them. Anyway, thank God I'm eating plum. I treat myself. It's something I know I can buy every day because they're expensive <laughs> no 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 i don't need to emphasize on that yeah these things from cameroon or from africa so expensive right now especially with the inflation voila. but inflation without inflation the price this year will never ever be same like back home yeah mm. So on to the next your maliciousness guys this is soya we call it soya in Cameroon the Nigerians will call it soya we call it soya it is so so yummy and to bust your brain guys this came directly straight from Cameroon as in so wherever you are right if you have someone who can actually buy you this and hand to anyone who is traveling same day trust me you get it like this this soya even cake how they call this again? What's this uh, pepper called again? Oh my god, it was yummy. Oh, now I remember. We call it Kang Kang. Yes, that's the name Kang Kang. <laughs> Guys, Kang Kang. If you buy soya, they don't give you Kang Kang. Hmm. Now you know, especially for this cold weather now. So, anyway, on to the next. This is a goosey pudding and babalo. Guys, if you have never tasted a gosi pudi and bobolo, you've been missing out a lot. This is a very simple, delicious and nutritious meal that you want to try. And I was eating that with some snails. I said, oh my God, guys, there is no way you want to tell me you have never tasted snails. And if you have not, do well to check it out. You would like it. I said, love it guys this is something i also like to eat on those days that i don't feel like cooking this is just noodles korean noodles so in here i just added some eggs as you can see okay and then i added some spices and then i added pepper to make it hot you know i like to enjoy it like i'm eating pepper soup noodles you know what i mean that tastes different it heats as in it heats it's so delicious try it out when it is cold this is pepper from cameroon okay I really do add pepper as in gosh when you are hungry you don't have food in the house make sure to always have noodles yes on those days this is going to save your life if you don't have Gary to drink as a Cameroonian just prepare your noodles like this it's very simple the instructions are there very very simple guys this is the last comfort meal for the day okay so 
try out pepper snails you are going to enjoy it if i have the opportunity to just be eating snails without eating red beef or fish and all of that i'm gonna do that because they are very very nutritious and so yummy thank you guys for watching please subscribe to my channel see you in my next video i love and appreciate you all for always always being here if you are new here thank you for coming click on the button subscribe and join the family i love you